Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do um, glitter text using glitter fills. Um, if you don't know what a glitter fill is, is it is basically um, a type of either animated glitter or pattern like these. Let me see if I can find some. Okay. Uh, like these. These are all glitter fills. They come in different colors, different patterns, and all that good stuff. So what you want to do is, um, once you pick your glitter fill, you want to go ahead and just right click and save as, and just save it to your computer. And once you have them saved, you're going to go ahead and open up Animation Shop. Click open and open up your glitter fill. So, as you can see, they all come in different types, like patterns that flash, or stripes with glitter, which is the one that I used here, to just plain old color glitter which is the one that I'm going to be using in this example. Pretty neat, huh? So once you open the glitter fill you want to use, you want to go ahead and copy each frame into PSP. So paste this new image and minimize. Copy. Paste this new image and minimize. And you want to do this for every frame. Now some and some glitter fills have more than three frames, so you will have to, if it has five frames, copy each frame into PSP to make sure you get all the frames. Okay, once you have copied all your frames into PSP, just minimize them for now. Next you want to go ahead and open a new image. I'm going to open mine 500 by 500 so that I have plenty of room to work with, um, a raster background, and transparent. Okay, now that you have your image open, go ahead and choose your text tool and pick a color for your outline. So I'm going to be using a dark gray. And of course, choose your font. I'm going to be using ANS Pen and Ink Roman Bold. So, once you choose your outline color and your font, go ahead and click and type. Okay, now that you have your outline, go ahead and right click and duplicate your vector layer. And on the bottom layer, double click on the A and you want to Hide the foreground color and choose a background color for the fill. It can be any color, it doesn't matter. Can, I'll even make it like red or something, the pink. It doesn't matter because it's not going to show. And then right click and convert to raster layer. Next, we're going to work on the outline. Go ahead and if you have the width that you want, I'm using a stroke width of three. Or if you want to make it bigger or smaller, do it however you want, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a bevel to it, which I'm using the same bevel that I always use, uh, bevel 2, width 10, smoothness 25, depth 5, ambience negative 27, shininess 35, color white, angle 135, intensity 35, and elevation 60. Once you have your inner bevel, I'm also going to add a glass effect, which you don't need to, but I think it looks nicer. So I will be using Eye Candy 5 Impact Glass with a bevel width of 4.22, bevel smoothness 0, round selection corner 0, bevel placement inside, glass color white, opacity 20, tinting 50, refraction 100, and all the shadows are set to 0. And then click OK. So now that we have our outline, we can go ahead and hide that. Next, you want to make 
three new blank layers. Okay, so once you have your blank layers, you want to click on your text layer, get your magic wand selection tool, and click on each letter. Now that you have your marching ants, go ahead and click on the first um, empty layer. Go up to your materials palette, and click on it, and choose pattern. Then choose your first glitter image. So it should look something like this. You should have your, your three or, or however many... Um, uh, layers, I mean, frames you had. So, they're all in order from the way that you pasted it into PSP. So since I pasted the first frame first, second frame, third frame, you know, like that, it's going to be in order. So go ahead and click on your first frame and press OK. Then you want to use your flood fill tool and just fill in your text. Then you want to go ahead and hide that layer, click on the second empty layer, go back up to your materials palette and click on the pattern, and then choose your second image. So the first one is always going to be the the one you're using, you're currently using, or, or is currently set. Then this is the first um, frame layer, and then the second, and then the third. So I'm going to choose my second layer, and just flood fill. You want to hide that layer, click on the third layer, and go ahead and choose your third frame, which would be the last one. Click OK and just flood fill. Once you have all your glitter text filled in, you can go ahead and get rid of this layer. So you can go up to selection, select none, click on your text layer, and just delete it. You can click on the X or right click and delete because you won't be needing that anymore. So now you should have three glitter layers and your outline. So go ahead and hide the bottom two glitter text layers. So you should only have the outline and the first glitter text visible. Go up to, to the bar, right click, and copy merged. Open up Animation Shop. Right click and paste as the animation. Then go back, hide the first glitter text layer, unhide the second, right click, copy merge, and paste after current frame. And you go ahead and do that for this for the third layer. Now as you can see I have this all this space for nothing, so you can go ahead and use your crop tool and crop around the text and there you go it'll crop it without moving it and there you have it your glitter text now you can do this with any glitter you know any any other you know animated fill you want to use if you have any questions feel free to ask me um you know i love to help out so have a good one, guys.